At E3 2016, Microsoft confirmed the Xbox One S. It's real and it's 40% smaller, has an integrated power supply, supports HDR gaming and 4K resolutions, and it'll go for $299 when it's released in August. What about the games? All the exclusive titles shown here were labeled Xbox Play Anywhere, meaning they're exclusive to Xbox One and Windows 10. It's a bit of a language pivot as Microsoft tries to blur the lines between their console and PC gaming. Things kicked off with Gears of War 4, which will support co-op crossplay between the Xbox One and PC. Gameplay looked, well, it looked like a Gears of War game, and that comes out October 10th. Forza Horizon 3 was announced. It's being touted as the most social Forza game ever. That hit September 27th. We got a more in-depth preview of ReCore. It's looking like a stylized action platformer game where you can make use of a group of different robots in your journey. That's set for September 13th. Then we got a Final Fantasy 15 demo. It's not Xbox exclusive, but we saw a really strange boss fight that wasn't very exciting. It was tough to figure out what was going on, but that game's out September 30th. Xbox Live is getting new features that are aimed to improve the online community experience. They're adding clubs, which will organize groups of like-minded gamers, and Arena, which sounds like Xbox Live's new tournament gaming platform. If you've ever dreamt about totally customizing your own Xbox controller, now you can using Xbox Design Lab. That's pretty cool. ID at Xbox got some stage time. They showed off some indie offerings for Xbox One owners. Inside, the game from the studio that made Limbo will be hitting in June. And we also saw a really solid demo for a game called We Happy Few, which will be available on Xbox Game Preview starting July 26th. Third-party developers also took the stage to announce new games, but they're not exclusive to Xbox. Tekken 7 will be debuting in 2017, and a Christmas-themed Dead Rising 4 is also on the way, presumably in time for the holidays, but we don't know the dates just yet. We got to preview a really over-the-top boss battle in Scalebound, which will release next year. Also on the docket was some pre-cut gameplay of Sea of Thieves, the co-op pirate adventure game from Rare, and we were also teased with State of Decay 2, and Halo Wars 2. And finally, Xbox head Phil Spencer took the stage to talk about the future of the Xbox family. He announced something called Project Scorpio, Xbox's new console that was leaked out recently, and played a very short video that attempted to summarize what the new hardware is. It'll support full 4K gaming and VR, an ultra-powerful GPU, and live alongside the Xbox One and Xbox One S family of consoles. So right now, Microsoft says Project Scorpio will be out holiday 2017, but that's obviously subject to change. We don't know much more about Scorpio, and quite honestly, it's getting tough to make sense of two new consoles being released. So which one are you supposed to buy, and should you wait for Scorpio? Keep it locked on CNET.com and GameSpot.com for the latest. <laughs>